Coach. Questions for uh, Coach and get us started. How was the break? Well, I stayed here. The weather was good. It was. Got a FaceTime call from them. It was really exciting. Sure did. Haven't had an opportunity to touch them yet, but when I do, it'll be good. Anything surprise you from your guys that you've seen so far? I'll tell you what. They are coming together. They really are. We almost we almost had a perfect attendance on something that we that's internal. We got a 99 out of 100 on a test today, and it's a strong A. But we were right there from being perfect, so we still got room to grow. How are you kind of looking at your quarterback room this year? Obviously, Garrett comes back with experience, and you got three guys who you haven't really seen in a game situation. How are you trying to evaluate that? We're going to have to evaluate that in a live situation. We'll put those guys in a live situation. We're not going to guess on what they're going to do when it's live. So when we go to scrimmage, they're going to get their opportunities. Now, Garrett is not in that situation. We've seen him. Sure. Now. But the other guys need to show us. I was going to say, did you, did you learn something from evaluating Garrett last year and just how you went about the situations you put him in, obviously you didn't. You switched over to him in week four, right? Part of that was maybe because you hadn't seen him live as much. Was you had, you, it, has, it has to do. You have to be able to do it in a game. Yeah. And, you know, I can feel that you can do something. And faith is strong. There's nothing about it. But then you got you to be able to see it. you got to have some results. And uh, just based off the little bit that we saw, we thought there was more behind it. Sure. What's it been like having Andre Schmidt back? And have you seen him develop the new special teams? I have. Team? I think he's working really good with the new special teams coach. And I apologize for cutting, cutting your question off a little bit. I think they're a good match. He wants to go to the pros. Uh, the guy is Coach legashevsky has been in the pros. And everything that he tells him is gospel. And the guy is nothing but knowledge. It's, a, it's an awesome get for us. And it could be an extremely, extremely good match. What have you been able to see from Ferrari plus? Again, one of those quarterbacks that we've got to put behind the line. We've got to make him live. Because some of the best things he does is going to be what he does when a play is not there. Sure. OK, so we've got to see him in a live situation. Uh, and then Lamson, someone you saw for a full year last year. Where do you see the growth for this break? Justin's had growth. He really has. Again, he hasn't been hit since high school. So when we go into live situations, he got hit last year in situations. But again, he's got to be able to show us that he can not only do it against the threes and do it against the twos on defense, but do it against the ones. Do, do you see anything different now compared to last fall? Colin looks more confident. Yeah. More confident. There's no doubt about it. I think you have your right tackle here. <laughs> What does that one mean? <laughs> yeah, you know, you have the left one. How do you feel about your right? I think we're, we're still waiting to see how those guys are going to. You want to put your five best guys out there. Okay? I think they've done some fantastic things, and we got to see how they're going to all play out. You're still recruiting that position. We're recruiting a lot of positions, but I can guarantee you the guys we're recruiting are guys that we think could be starters at this situation. We're going to give them a late scholarship. It seems like Carlos is certainly getting a chance to show what he can do there. He's going to play a ton of ball. Uh, what have you seen from him, and do, do, do you see growth in any particular area of these doing? I do. I do see growth with Carlos has been doing outside. We just got to see if that's the best spot for the team. But there's no doubt that he's gotten better out there. Do you feel like those guys are being challenged by the defensive end group you have? Like, are you taking that into account when you look at, you know what I mean? Like, if you had Kingsley and Cody Roscoe here, like, maybe things might be a little different. I'm smiling because you're asking me if I take things into account. I sure, take everything I into okay. account. Okay. Yeah, you know, the defensive line is young, and we, they're going to have to do really well versus that young defensive line for us to think that they're going to be able to do some of the things in the ACC that we want to be able to do on offense. So we've got to see how they grow. But, yes, we understand the defensive line. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of new coaches, how have the players adapted to, to them? I didn't hear the first part of your question. A um, couple new coaches. Uh, mm -hmm. How have the players adapted to, to them? I think it's still a growing situation. I think the coach, the players are getting used to them. Every new coach, even though he uses English, he has his own little special language to communicate with the players very quickly on the football field. And, uh, you know, they're getting used to their new language. But uh, I'm smiling because it's all part of it. But they'll, the kids are, the, I call them the kids, the young men are so adaptable. They're so young, they're so adaptable. Just put them in a situation. After spring ball, they'll have a good feel for their new coaches. Are you comfortable dressing three kids? Yeah. Really? You don't yeah. feel it? Just yeah. given how you might want to go on the 12, you think you can get, get through a 12-game season with three 
Oh, you mean would you like to have more? Yeah. You would always like to have more, but I'm comfortable with three. Yeah. Is Mahar, you know, Robert at the UVM said Johnny, Colorado Ball, Johnny Woods, tight end. Okay. Okay. Is Mahar, is this his moment to kind of see if he can be that pass catching? I mean, I think when you think about our tight ends, Rhino has shown he could catch the ball, okay? Uh, Max Main has shown that he can catch the ball, and Steve Mahar can catch the football. So I think all three of those guys are going to have opportunity to show what they can do.